Now, today, the 1st of October, is uh, a major day when it comes to some health ideas in this country. Now, as you know, uh, vaping has largely replaced the smoking of cigarettes or other tobacco products, mainly, yes, for young people, but also for a whole collection of people who are trying to get off the stuff they have maybe smoking for years. And it does feel like every second shop in many of our suburbs, certainly the further you go out from the city, are now vape shops. Well, from today, vapes are no longer allowed to be sold in shops because of a decision that the Health Minister, Mark Butler, made. His decision was that the place from today that you can get your vapes is not at a tobacconist, not at a vape shop, not at the service station, but from your local chemist. And unlike previous scenarios where, generally speaking, you'd have to go to the doctor first to give you a prescription and then the prescription is filled by said chemist, you can walk in off the street and try to purchase, effectively, a tobacco replacement product that, of course, has things like nicotine in it. Now, the absurdity of this situation is that basically there's an honour system at play here. Let me explain. You don't need a prescription anymore. People will just wander into the chemist and they will say, I need a couple of vapes, please. Um, OK, well, how much? Well, what they will give you is a month's worth of vapes based off what you tell them is your current monthly nicotine intake. So, if you are a pack-a-day smoker, they would give you the equivalent of that when it comes to vapes. If you're the occasional party smoker, they will give you, of course, much less. But if, like many people in this country, it's even a little more than all of that, you will end up getting a huge supply of vapes. Now, it's not going to take a lot of people to work this one out. But my criticism of this system, apart from turning chemists into the place where now you can get your tobacco product or the tobacco replacement product, oh, because it's all about getting people off the vapes, right? Despite the fact that you can walk in and say, yeah, no, I, I bang out a carton a week. OK, here's all the vapes you need for a month. That there are going to be people who may well keep some of those vapes for themselves, but I think we all know where it's going to end up. The black market. But, of course, the government is completely unwilling to say that this is one of the consequences. But also one of the problems here that will increase the sales on the black market, just like the tobacco products that are currently on the black market, because this government is such a genius government to keep increasing the taxes on legal tobacco, meaning that in many of those vape and tobacco shops which are in your local suburbs, you can get crap from China, chop chop, as a way of... Uh, filling your nicotine rush, should that be what you wish to do. Now, of course, smoking is bad, smoking will kill you, no question about it. As somebody who uh, smokes too many cigars, I know what my future has in store for me. That's the reality. But chemists are now saying they don't want to stock them. In fact, they can't be forced by the government to stock them. So we're now going to have a scenario where the only place that you can legally get your vape is at the chemist, but not all chemists will stock them meaning that certain chemists will see their profits go through the roof from this product, and the honour system means that they give you the amount that you ask for because that's what you've said is your monthly nicotine dose. Some of the chemists that won't be selling vapes are the ones that you, of course, should be supporting. Let's go through this here. This is from the Pharmacy Guild and what they had to say about the types of businesses that will not be involved in this little attempt to change things. Feedback from our members and the industry suggests that most pharmacists do not intend on stocking these products. Priceline Pharmacy, Terry White Chemmart, Blooms the Chemist, Pharmacy 777 and National Pharmacies, particularly focused in South Australia, are already indicating they will not be doing this. Now, yes, at some of these places, there are other nicotine alternatives, and we are waiting to see what Chemist Warehouse, one of the biggest providers of uh, prescription medication and lots of other stuff in all of those aisles that you don't need a prescription for, what their plan is. I'll tell you what they tell us when they get back to us over the next 24 hours. But can you think of a dumber solution to the problem of vaping than literally creating an entirely new black market rather than a market where, if they wanted to, they could continue to sell these things at tobacconists, but 
tax them in the same way that they tax other tobacco products as a way of making up revenue. No, no, instead, we're going to pretend that if magically it's no longer available, then nobody will want to use it. Because that's worked with everything else the government tries to ban, right? <laughs>